My name is Gerard. Um, I'm a journalist uh, working in Uganda. I work for a Buganda Kingdom Television. It's called Buganda Broadcasting Service, BBS Television. I call upon the international community uh, to intervene uh, seriously in the situation in Uganda as we are heading for uh, the 2021 general elections, presidential and parliamentary general elections. Uh, we are living in a state of fear as journalists. I myself, my life is in danger. As I speak now, I live in hiding. I no longer sleep at home. My family is living in hiding. I no longer see my children, nor my wife. We just communicate, and not oftenly. I can spend days without seeing, without talking to them, because I know they are tracking my phone, and they may know where my family is hiding, and they go for them. They have attacked me at home for three times. Even yesterday night, I came to know that they were at home. Luckily enough, I was not there, neither my family. But my neighbors told me everything that happened. So they want to kidnap me. That is the information I got. So they want to kidnap me, accusing me of inciting violence. But it is, it's because I analyze issues that is going on in Uganda objectively, revealing the brutality of the security agencies, police brutality, the military police brutality, and all other security agencies that we have in Uganda. People are being killed. On 18th November, more than 50 people were killed, were shot to dead. Were shot dead, broad daylight. They were demonstrating against the arrest of a presidential candidate. That one, you, you, you would expect that. Whoever candidate would be arrested, the supporters would be demonstrating. But how do you respond as the government, as the security agencies? You don't respond by shooting at people. But so many were killed. And the minister for security came out broadly and supported the police, supported the army for killing innocent Ugandans. So when you come out and analyze that, showing what happened, that when you become a threat to the government, that you are inciting violence. They leave alone those who shot dead people. And then they look at you, who have reported, or who is reporting what is taking place, and then you are taken as a person who is inciting violence. So that is why they want me to disappear, accusing me of inciting violence. So when I got that information, I said, yeah, it's okay. If I incite violence, there is a law. Let them arrest me. They take me to court. Then I bring out my evidence. They bring out their evidence. And then the law decide. If I'm found guilty, I will serve. If I'm found innocent, they release me. But kidnapping me, I don't think that one is in law. Not even think. It is not there. If a person is suspected of breaking any law, let him or her be arrested. But it's not there. So they are trailing me wherever I'm I. Last night after the show, they were already at the station. So, uh, uh, 
I had to run away for my for my dear life. So that is the situation I'm living in now. I'm living in a situation of fear. I don't know what is what will happen tomorrow. I don't know what will happen to my family. My children are young. I'm doing my work as a journalist. They don't want us to talk about what is happening in Uganda. How could we keep quiet when things are going astray in our country? How? I don't think that we would be good journalists if we just keep quiet when things are going astray, when people are disappearing every day, when people are being killed every day, when people are being taken to safe houses. There are so many safe houses now. You go to Kalangala, Sese Islands, there are safe houses there. They are taking youth and youth, keeping them there. In safe houses, you go to, to, you go to Kayunga, you go everywhere. You go to Chengera. In Kampala, safe houses are there. They are arresting people. You go to Chibo prison. You go to, to, to everywhere. So, Ugandans in different countries, that is the situation in your country. The international community, international organizations, come for our rescue. We are no longer free in our country. I cannot move in broad daylight. I'm in hiding. I cannot sleep at my home. I cannot eat anywhere, everywhere. God, that is the situation we are in. They are hunting for me. They are looking for me. For no crime committed. There are so many Ugandans in the same situation. The situation I'm in, but they don't have a voice. I committed myself right from the beginning when I began this job, this profession. When I was still young, I committed myself to be a voice for the voiceless, to be a voice for others. We condemn, we totally condemn, I totally condemn the brutality that is being inflicted on Ugandans by the security agencies. We don't oppose their work. We don't oppose their law. What we oppose is the unlawful arrests, unlawful brutality, unlawful kidnapping, and everything that is not in line with the law. So wherever I go on air and I talk about that, I'm inciting violence according to them. But according to the law, it's, it's not there. That is my role.